I got a question for both of you. Just Patreon, kind of... yes. Patreon. Not necessarily Patreon, Kyle, but just things <laughs> that I'm, I'm interested in now. After hearing you express uh, your viewpoint like that, it, it, do you think that theater is ultimately an educational exercise then? Theater should exist to educate people, even if there's something negative that happens in a play. Um, uh, that negative should educate the audience into how to take that negative and turn it positive. Personally, I, I, I see a very clear distinction between what I think theater should be and what I want to spend my time on. Like, I think theater can be anything. I think theater can be whatever you want theater to be. And I recognize that everybody has their own aesthetic and, and, and that there's a huge variety of things that theater can be. I also just know you know, we have a finite number of hours on this planet <laughs> and I love theater and, and I think that theater can be used. I, you know, I use the term contribute to the well-being of the planet very specifically because I feel like the play doesn't have to teach you anything. If, if you can watch the complete works of Shakespeare for 90 minutes and laugh uproariously, you are, your body is flooded with positive hormones and that's gonna better equip you to walk around on the planet. If you see a play like The Last Days of Judas Iscariot, which I love so much and is very hard and does not end super well, I still feel like it illustrates how we have the power to leave the prisons that we make for ourselves. So. I, that's just me personally. I think theater can be whatever somebody wants theater to be. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I also think that it should, it should be the, the mirror. It should be shining the mirror on, on humanity and showing us who we are. Um, or who we could letting be. Us, or who we, or we, who we could be, uh, or who we aren't. Um, mm -hmm. I really, I really feel strongly about that. Um, but I, I also think it, it really can, can be anything or it should be whatever people want it to be because they're, what are we now? Nine billion people on the planet. Seven. Um, and change. it's only seven. Isn't it? I thought we were approaching nine billion. Um, oh, well, maybe I just watched too much sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but regardless, I mean, that's, that's looking it up, but. Bi billions of uh, billions of different perspectives that, that everyone has. So I think in, in theater can honor any of those. Um, but yeah, so I, I definitely don't think it should be a limiting thing. But I do feel like it. I do feel like it's very effective as a, a an educational tool um, uh, be, by being able to to see stories that you might not consider yourself um, or, or, or even, even think are possible. So it's a lot. <laughs> We're gonna read up on a lot of plays and talk about them in many ways. So welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. My brother and I saw Die Hard in the theater nine times, and we mm -hmm. would leave each other quizzes on the dining room table. And it's a About slide. Die Hard? Well, yeah, like what are the ingredients of the Twinkie? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> yellow dye, number five. <clears throat> um, you can't talk about that. That's what? right, it's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. Yeah, yeah obviously. <laughs>